Hey, good morning everybody. Daryl with RV Adventure TV. Well, it looks like it's going to be one of these days when you're out on the road. You can expect breakdowns. RV Adventure TV broken down. Stay tuned. Okay, well, here we are. We made it back to Louisiana. Just did 10,000 miles in the old uh, 05 Chevrolet 3500 Silverado. And I guess uh, it's a good thing we made it back home. But all of a sudden, uh, I'm having issues with the uh, motor on the truck. Uh, check engine light came on and uh, don't know exactly what's wrong. We think it's either uh, the injector uh, or the injector wiring or something. We don't know exactly. So we're going to get it towed away today, take it down to the uh, place that works on uh, my vehicles before it does the maintenance on them. Get in the shop and figure it out. If it's an injector gone bad, that's one thing. If it's a, a computer, don't know on the diesels. I have no clue on them. But I'm going to kind of show you what it's what it did so if you if this happens to you you can see what it ex what to expect but anyway we'll go inside so what we got here I'm going to show you the uh, check engine light right there came on it was a cold morning on the start it worked fine got up on the interstate and got up to about 65 70 and you could hear it's kind of started to miss so uh, uh, didn't know exactly what went wrong got off the interstate got off to a service station shut it off started back up and it, and it, and it worked just fine so I went on to uh, down the road had some appointments I was going to and uh, did my appointments got in started coming back to the RV and uh, it did it again so I immediately pulled off went down to the place that was real close by to that works on my vehicles and uh, they put the uh, uh, the test on it with the computer to find out what was wrong and it was showing a number two injector uh, failure or having issues with it and of course with diesel motors you you're lucky to drive in and get anything worked on right away so this was uh, on a Thursday so we got it set up to, to uh, drive on a Monday but with these diesels and it may be the other newer cars now too when something goes wrong it's almost like everything goes into fail safe uh, I can start it up and it'll run but it runs like it missed so I don't want to start it up now because uh, I don't want to do any damage than I ha than I need to, but it'll go like at an idle. It won't drive. You can't drive it. It just it'll just go at a nice easy pace, like just enough to get you off the road. So anyway, we got their good Sam service. We called Good Sam's up. They're gonna send a tow truck out here and they'll tow it over there. And I guess we'll find out Monday what's actually gonna go. Uh, what was wrong with it? How long it's gonna take to fix? We had to rent a car. Uh, so we could get around because uh, we don't know how long it's going to take to fix. Could be a one day fix. Might have to order parts and could be a three or four or five day fix. Let's hope it's something simple. But this is what to expect. This is why we had roadside service. We'll at least be able to get it towed in there where it doesn't cost us nothing. Or if we were out on the road, we would have had Maddie back behind us, our fifth wheel, and they would have had to tow both of them. So it's, it's uh second time that we've used uh, Good Sam's. So we'll wait for the tow truck to show up and see what happens. Stop the madness. Start the adventure. Here we go, an adventure in diesel mechanics. All right, so here's the process. Take the truck to the shop. The tow truck's here. I called uh, the roadside service and uh, made it here within an hour and a half. 
we were off the road and say so it was no big do deal I told them they didn't have to hurry but they were still here within an hour and a half so that's all good we'll get it loaded up and get it to the shop and see what's wrong